Travels with John Stevenson here, and uh, my guest today happens to be my nephew. Came over to visit his Aunt June, Diamond Stevenson, and myself for our birthday present. And I can't say anything better than to say thank you, Lord, for policemen like Robbie Lonneman. And uh, he's a fine example of uh, uh, policemen all over Kentucky, Ohio, and Indiana. He works, happens to work at the University of Cincinnati, but uh, I remember watching him when he first started. And years ago, I was commissioner of motor vehicles for the state of Kentucky and one of the chief officers for police in the Commonwealth of Kentucky and had my badge and I always honored that badge. And that's the way Robbie is as a policeman. Tell us, Robbie, how long you've been with the uh, Cincinnati the Police Department? Since 2003. 2003. So that gives you about uh, how many years there? About 18 as an officer. 18 as an officer. And where's your duty right now performed most of the time? What area? In uh, Clifton around the main campus. Clifton around the main campus there at the UC. So you have a lot of contact with the uh, uh, Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati students then, don't you? Yep. And Try to keep it safe for them and safe for the surrounding community as well. And um, uh, what's your rank there now with the uh, University Law Enforcement Officer 3? And uh, how many more years would it be before you have your retirement? Uh, about seven more years. About seven more years. Mm -hmm. And things have become a little more difficult for police officers today than they have um, when I was a police officer. And uh, but. Uh, you seem to have adjusted to it well and and recognize it and uh, are really carrying forward but it but it has been a challenge hasn't it yeah a bit but we try to do the best we can and you know, just keep the community involved and and just be helpful and that's what uh, police officer work is really all about isn't it uh, it's being helpful to your neighbors being helpful to the students being helpful to the citizens right correct God bless you and your work, and, and it's a thrill to have you over here with us here in Northern Kentucky today, bringing us our little birthday present that we uh, are looking forward to hanging that picture right up in a prominent place in the house here, uh, where we live, Miss June and I, 38 uh, McCollum Pike and the uh, Road in Independence, Kentucky. And uh, Rob, it's nice to see you and tell uh, Sherry that, and and Emmett and uh, Isabel, uh, we said hello and we love them to pieces. And uh, of course we love your mom and dad, Robert Lonneman and Sylvia Lonneman. A lot of folks will recognize those two names. That's your parents and your brother, of course, uh, uh, Andy Guyman is up in upper uh, Cleveland area up there. What's that name of that town where he is? Mon Mon Mag Magador. Magador. Near Akron and Kent State University. Right. So him and the family are up there, and then, then Judy, your sister, is in, uh, she's teaching still, isn't she? Yep. And where is she teaching at? Um, Cincinnati Public Schools. Cincinnati Mount Public Area Schools. Elementary. Mount Airy Elementary. Well, being an old school teacher and former superintendent of education for Kentucky, I'm always glad to see, well, your job really is a teaching job in many ways, teaching the, the people the right way to do things and, and uh, being there to protect our rights as citizens and to, to, to keep us out of harm. I, I admire what you do with your police work. It's extremely important. And uh, Miss June Diamond Stevens, your aunt and I respect you and uh, uh, love you and tell all the family we said hello when you see them and, and uh, all the people in Northern Kentucky, we can say thank you, Rob, for being what you are. Thank, thank you, you, Rob, for being a policeman. We love you. Thank you.